In recent years, Birmingham has been a hotspot for property investors. However, is there still an opportunity to profit from property? Let's find out. If you're watching my videos for the first time, my name is Saj Hussain and on this channel I share with you my 15 years of property investing experience to ultimately help you get further faster in your property investing journey. So what's the big fascination about Birmingham for property investors? Why are they so excited about investing in Birmingham? Well, first of all, before we start, quick disclaimer. I was born in this city and I absolutely love it to bits, so you're going to get a biased view from me. Property investors have been fascinated with Birmingham over the last decade or so particularly, but before we analyse why, let's look at its history. Birmingham is known as the second city in terms of population after London, but it's the Industrial Revolution where we've seen the most amount of change and growth, and Birmingham has been well known for industry, particularly when it comes to manufacturing and engineering. And we've got famous uh, manufacturers here, such as Jaguar Land Rover, we've got Cadbury's, and also BSA, British Small Arms, where they produce the guns and also bicycles, not producing so many guns these days. A lot of the infrastructure in Birmingham has really been designed to support the manufacturing that existed here. So we've got the great motorway connections and also the ring roads around the city, but more particularly the canals that were created at the time. In fact, we have more canals than we have in Venice. Over time, the city got known as the city of a thousand trades. Here, in and around the city centre is where most of the industry was based. And the people that were working at these places, they would live very close by in the back-to-back -back terraces at that time, essentially the working class. And those that owned the factories, the industrialists, they'd live a little bit further out in the suburbs, in the slightly nicer parts of the city. But of course, over time, the city expanded. And during World War II, the city took a real battering in terms of the, uh, the suffer, the amount of property that was damaged. Then it was post-war when it really started to change. That's where there was a lot of development that started happening and also gave birth to high-rise living. If you're enjoying this content, make sure you smash that like button, subscribe to the channel and enable the notification bell. That way you won't miss out when these videos have been released. Moving forward to the 2000s, house prices started rising sharply and this was really across the whole country. And then at 2008, we all know what happened, market prices crashed, we had the global economic crisis, uh, particularly a banking crisis, which had a massive impact in terms of house prices. And in Birmingham, that meant a fall of about 25%. So house prices fell by about 25% at that time. But really, it took a couple of years, it wasn't until about 2010 that the market started moving again, but it really took till 2014 before prices arrived back at what they were pre-crash. But at this point, there really started to be some momentum in the property market in Birmingham. What caused this was a number of factors. Well, firstly, it was HS2 was becoming more of a certainty and a reality is much more likely to happen, even though they've been talking about it for a number of years. And then you had HSBC announced that they were gonna to move to Birmingham uh, as their headquarters. There was potential talk of other companies as well, maybe moving large, big blue chip companies moving to Birmingham as their city center uh, and their headquarters to be relocated here. And of course, we also had the change in prior approval rights to be able to change an office building into residential because there's many of these office buildings were just defunct and unused and then all this change started happening. This created a huge amount of drive and interest in the property market, generally speaking, and Birmingham really started to move and boom with regards to prices. We started to see a lot of money coming up from London and generally the greater London area investing in Birmingham. That was individuals and businesses and companies as well, but also a huge amount of interest from the Far East and, uh, and also the Middle East as well although investment and money started moving into Birmingham which really started to see a huge change happening in the Birmingham property market. For a number of years Birmingham had become the poorer cousin of Manchester. Why Manchester? Well there was a huge amount of investment happening in Manchester and all the things we're talking about now were actually happening in Manchester that means there was very little going on in Birmingham so these changes in 2014 onwards this is where really the property market started to move right now in Birmingham probably more than 5,000 new homes currently being built just in the city centre alone. With all these new homes being built, who's actually buying them? Well, it's not just investors buying them, the people are buying them as their homes as well. In Birmingham, the expectation is that the population will grow by about 200,000 over the next 20 years. So it will go from 1.1 million to 1.3 million. But generally the West Midlands as a whole, the population is 6 million. So it's still a very active and vibrant part of the country with a huge amount going on. And HS2, 
as it's becoming closer and closer in terms of it becoming a reality and actually happening, you'll soon be able to jump on a train from here and be in central London in about 45 minutes. That's just crazy, being able to think how quickly you'll be able to get to central London from here. Um, and you know, sometimes uh, I remember a short period of time I was in London, working in London, and uh, you know, it would take 45 minutes just to get from, the, uh, uh, from, from your front door to the city centre in London. And when you can travel from uh, Birmingham down to London in 45 minutes, that's going to be a huge game changer as well. And of course, you know, with the pandemic, people are really changing their lives and the way that, that they work and more people are thinking about moving away from a, a central office place and being based there and be traveling further away and living somewhere further away from work rather than being based so close to work because home, uh, home work is becoming so much more common. Birmingham is an exciting and cosmopolitan city which presents fantastic opportunities for property investors with both the mixture of traditional type of property and also the modern properties that are being built right now. And if you're interested in getting involved, certainly reach out to us with our expertise and our experience investing in Birmingham with myself for 15 years and my team of 20, we can certainly help you with that. Whether it's generating income from a yield and cash flow point of view or whether you're looking for longer term capital growth, we can help identify where you're going to get the best return for your money, particularly for those long term portfolios. Portfolios. Reach out to us and let's have a chat and see how we can help you. Who do you know that should have been watching this video? Do them a favour, click on the share button and send this to them. And if you've enjoyed this video, I've got something lined up for you which you're really going to like, just click up here. But just before you do that, make sure you click down here on my face to subscribe to the channel and that way you get to see these videos as and when they're released. So this video I've got lined up for you, I'm sure you're going to love it. I look forward to seeing you on that.